Hey Gen Chem students, I'm Ben Asman. Today in the first of three different experiments about acids and bases, we're gonna be talking about hydrolysis, weak acids, and buffers. Let's get to it. Acids and bases, hydrolysis, weak acids, and buffers. So the moment you walk into the lab, you want to put a nice big beaker, 400 mils of water, start boiling the hell out of it, or more accurately, the carbon dioxide. This does take several minutes, so you want to make sure you get this started before even the lecture. As a whole, you've encountered acids before, so they're not really revolutionary, but here's a quick refresher for Brownston-Lowry acids. That is an acid that gives up a hydrogen atom, an H+, a proton. A base of this kind is just a hydrogen acceptor. We use the word conjugate, conjugate acid, conjugate base, just to mean that this is the matched pair. The conjugate acid will have the hydrogen, the conjugate base will not. You'll be using quite a few formulas for this particular lab. pH is the negative log of the concentration of H+, which of course means the opposite is true. H+, equals 10 to the negative pH, as well as pH plus pOH equals pKW, in other words, 14. And of course, formulas for Ka and Kb, as well as, of course, the henderson hasselhoff I mean, Hasselhoff, I mean, henderson hoffabach so I put down a few layers of paper towel and I've taken down our hot water. I don't want to put it directly on the bench top. It might shock the glass and break it. So paper towel is a good insulator. We'll leave this here to cool uh, so that we can actually work with it. We don't want to stir it because we don't want to integrate any more carbon dioxide. So we just leave it as it is. So the first thing we're going to need is some unboiled water. We'll need about five mils worth. Oop, a little too much. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, I'm also going to take our boiled flask here and top that off. It will cool a little faster in there. Toasty. Okay, we will also need some of each of these, the sodium acetate, the ammonium chloride, sodium carbonate, and acetic acid. So now we're going to make our buffered solution. We have a labeled container here. Ideally, we put this straight on, but these scales cannot handle that much weight. So we're going to take one of these, add that on, zero this out, take our sodium acetate. Here's the secret to getting a little bit more is you just whack this against your finger. That's only a little bit at a time. You can get it exactly to where you want it. Cool. Okay, next we are going to add acetic acid. Make sure you grab the three molar, not the 0.1. And we're going to add some DI water. Cool. And we're going to take our little stir rod and get this to dissolve. See, there's some stuff there at the bottom. You gotta get that to dissolve.
Good. Okay, we're gonna prepare four solutions here. Buffer plus acid, then buffer plus base, boiled water plus acid, boiled water plus base. We're gonna need 25 mils. Next, we're gonna need our boiled water and 25 mils of that one. And 25 mils of that one. Now we're going to add some acid to beaker number one and beaker number three. And we're gonna add some base to beaker number two and to beaker number four. Give it a stir. Okay, while that's going, first thing we wanna do here is calibrate our pH meter. We have here our probe. It is in pH for buffer, just the same as there. And that protects the actual electrode itself that's in there. You can see it's right in there, it's quite fragile. You wanna be careful with that. Now we're gonna move this out of the way, turn this on. Now you can see it's already been calibrated to something. We don't care, we're gonna clear that. We're gonna recalibrate this. We want to make sure this, we'll give this a rinse here with DI water. Make sure that that's nice and clean. Take our Kim wipe and we're gonna wipe that. And then to be very gentle not to break this little probe in here, which is gonna take a little bit and we're just gonna blot it very carefully, very gingerly. So we don't break that really, really thin glass, which is right there. Now, we can move this aside, take our first standard, we have here pH 4. We're going to put this just like that, stick it in there. And now we can press pH and it can start reading. You can see that's quite a bit off from what uh, the reading should be. And so we're going to give this one minute just like this to equilibrate. And now that that's done, we're going to hit standard and it is marking our first standard in a moment it will adjust there we go and so now we can take this out close that and give this another rinse we're going to do one more standard you could do three standards um we don't need to for today we're not going to get that far just as before rinse with the eye water lot dry because we don't want to uh, hurt our electrodes but we need to get the water off because it alters the ph take our second standard here stick that in and hold that in there for one minute now that's done we can press standard again and you can see it's calibrating our second standard and it's working on it we'll give it another second to finish don't worry if it's just that little bit off. That's pretty standard. The point one we can count at that variation being acceptable. And now we can take this out, close that, and rinse any, rinse with water. Blood dry. Okay, now that we have this calibrated, we can start testing our solutions. We have here first our unboiled. We're gonna stick that in. We're gonna press pH and auto, pH and auto, with pH there. And we're gonna give it a minute for it to come down. While this is still blinking, uh, means it's still testing. So we'll give that some time. Okay. 
Now normally I would rinse this between solutions, but as this is just water anyway, but it's not DI water, so we will take some DI water, give that a nice rinse. Gauge. Kim wipe and lot dry. From this point, you want to finish going through the remaining five solutions for this one and five solutions for the next part. And then when you're done with all of that. Cool. And last thing here, once again, we're going to rinse the pH 4 buffer. Put it in here. Make sure it's completely submerged. If it's not, tap it off. Close this. Turn that off and you're done.